Okay, let's get started. He had a question. And actually, any of y'all that have questions, y'all need to hit me up big time. I got Brandon from Vienna. He's going to hit me up if he has questions. That's a good thing. Got Will. Glad he had a question finally after all these years. <laughs> uh, so many of y'all. We're going to talk about inside-outside bracing. Okay. Now, here where I got to say, because this is going to just... This is going to cancel about nine-tenths of this video, okay? Every stance you do from Wing Chun has a certain pressure or bracing test. You have to, like me, for example, right now, I'm about to turn 42 at the end of February, okay? My knees are not that great. I'm old, right? got joints that pop, things of that nature. I do the best I can with what I got. You get what I'm saying? And of course, getting back on that exercise thing so I can rebuild those joints or even become more functional. So I'm learning a lot about CrossFit and some more stuff so I can get into some things. Now, this man is young as heck. He's a young buck. He's virile. Ladies, I'll give you his phone number. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Oh, he has a type. So if you're not his type, I ain't gonna let you know his number. Anyway, <laughs> but at the, uh, what I wanna, he's, he's younger, he's part of that newer generation, even though he's not too far in age for me, but he's part of that newer generation that he has a lot more go. And that's a good thing. He's gonna have a lot more go and stuff like that. So when he has his students or whatever, he's gonna be able to teach more and teach at a better level, right? I gotta work on myself a bit. I've been in the game too long. So, when it comes to the stances, I'll give you a great example. If I'm in Yiji Kenya Ma, both legs are bracing. Because both legs are at what I like to call the base of the triangle. Like, if, if y'all can see it, I'm gonna do it more like this so you can see it. The point is in front of me if I step to that point. Right now, I'm at the base. I'm at the bottom of the triangle. Both feet are equally bracing, okay? If I do how Ma, which is really seat Ma, but just having more of a focused control on the back leg, then this leg is bracing. Is that making sense? Go right again. Let me let me let me repeat what I just said. I'm gonna go back. Now, if I go from Yiji to Kuyama, both legs are bracing. Because there's no one foot that's out past the other. Okay? If I was gonna if 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 I'm just like this. If I get pushed, both legs are being pushed. Both legs are feeling that energy. That's the brace part. If I was to step, this is seat ma. That's seat ma. I have made the point at the top of the triangle out here. I'm still at the base here. This leg is more light. There is no brace there, which means there's no energy. The weight of your body, that energy is more going down to this back leg than it is the front. Yes. Do they call that back bracing? That's a great question. Yes, it's practically back bracing. It's how ma bracing stance. That back bracing stance. So you're getting the picture now. What's the difference between a back bracing and a red stance, or is it the same thing? Say it out loud. What's the difference between the back bracing and the red stance? Is it the same thing, or is there? Oh, the Yuji Kuya Ma? No, the um, Bai Jong red stance. Great question. Same thing. Here's what I'm ultimately trying to tell you. And, and I'm glad he said Bai Jong, because Bai Jong, that's the Jeet Kune Do is. Over on Wing Chun's side, it's called Jong Sao. It's our fighting stance. But listen, pay attention to what I'm saying, telling you. Okay, let me even break this down for everybody else too. 
When you was in Taekwondo or in karate, the first stance you did was a what? Front stance. Front stance. Okay. What could the master do to your front stance? Your front stance in here was strong enough that they could stand on this and be like a statue. On the back, they can actually stand on the back of your leg and should be able to stand there without you caving. Because that energy was there. Most of the energy, back leg. Back. Why? Because push. There. That's the brace. Now, I, why did I take a front stance, for example, not any other stance? Because every other stance has a certain level of bracing that it does that the other one does not. What do I mean by that? Great question. Get into a horse stance. Classic horse stance. Classic horse stance. The stance is strong that way. The stance is weak that way. Front stance. Bow and arrow or wing chunk stance? No, our, the, the, that, that Taekwondo karate front stance. That bow idea. and arrow? Bow and arrow. Stance, strong this way, strong in the back. Broken on the side. When I tell you, when I tell you, what I used to tell people back in the day, the stance is the same thing as kicking. Then if we have moving kicks, then we also have a moving what? Stance. Stance. No stance stayed. No technique stays. And, and, and y'all, for the Wing Chun people that like to message me and anybody else, y'all are being what we call babysitted. When we are, when literally there's nothing going on and your teacher's not even having you move half the time, you're being babysitted. You're just doing nothing but techniques all day. Old school Wing Chun, old school Hong Kong, old school Taekwondo, old school karate, all of them, they are movers. You wouldn't touch them if you could. I can find one of the oldest masters alive in karate, and I swear to God, no kung fu man could touch them. No modern day kung fu man could touch that fool because they moved, constantly moving. Even the old school Southern Shaolin Kung Fu, they was in that mud doing these stances, but what did they do? They had to pick up that foot and move. They had to pick up that foot and move. That's why if you see the old school kung fu books, you have this. They'll be in the front stance, and all of a sudden, the extra stance out. Now they turn around. Now they now they went from here, butterfly out here, turn around, butterfly out here, go back to Gigi Kuyo Ma, stand up right here, come down like this. They kept moving. Every stance has a brace. All stances have a brace. You hear what I'm saying? That's the first key. I just gave you the first key. From Yiji Kuyama, grasping the goat. Yiji Kuyama, grasping, we're grasping the goat. How are, we, how are they be able to grasp the goat with their stance? Not only do they do this, but the heels, the energy goes back in the heels. If the sheep is going this way, the energy is counteracting this way. So you're bracing from that stance, even though both feet are on the same base. You get what I'm saying? Does that make, starting to make sense? So every stance has a brace. Now, from there, that's why your techniques become extra important. Strong stance, strong technique, strong human being. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Strong stance, strong technique, strong human being. Right. Another reason why I gotta exercise these knees out. <laughs> you know, my ankles and knees, they, they work, they hurt. You gotta use an internal force. Yeah. 
But also, at that age, it's time to start going internal. I I I am at that age where I use internal force, but there's no one around that can stand my internal force, much less my physical. So I have to chill. The only time I use my internal force, and this is being real honest, you better be at such a high level that I see the sun shining off your face, and I don't mean because the sun is shining on it. I need to see the energy coming out and you shining like the sun. Sound, sound, There's a difference. Sound like old school play that said the light don't shine on you, shine in you. Shine in you. Like you can go, I, 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 great example, you can go to some of these old, you can look at an old It Man picture. No one, most of us ain't seen It Man face to face. Go to an It Man photo and tell me you don't see the light shining out of him even through a freaking photo. Yeah, and he like five foot one, but he feel like he's eight feet tall. He's, that's how much power this man had. If I had to meet someone like an It Man, yeah, internal force, hell yeah. Well, not, not at the end, but you know. The fact that he was able to do that wooden dummy for him, even though he was dying of cancer, literally dying, he was still doing that for him. Look, and, and, and one last thing I got to say about internal force on this one. Remember this. He didn't have enough internal force to do BG. Internal force does have a limitation. It has a limitation. Sometimes you can only do so much internal as you have external. Or whatever's going on. So if you're dealing with, like me, I deal with like two different diseases myself. For him having cancer, and for him hurting as bad as he was, his internal force was dropping rapidly. So realize that when y'all see those videos of Hit Man, he's not doing BUG. And they even tell you, there's even old articles are telling you why he didn't do BUG. He told it to his students, I can't do BG, I don't have enough strength for it. I don't have it. So he did as much as he could. God bless that man. So when when you have, if you step on his foot out and seat mile, for example, or you could say the, the Jong South fighting stance or, or even by Jong if you want to, the most important part is the stance. Then once I press, so much of that energy is going on his back, right? Really focus on that. He ain't focusing on it. But if he really focus on it, there, that, that is internal force because your mind is there, all of it's there. And you get what I'm saying now? Yep. So you got to have, everything has to be there for internal force. But that's that bracing. Actually, I Back think race, right? I even, yeah, how am I? How am I? Look, and I'm going to help y'all out. How am I is just a freaking term. It means nothing. Why did I say that? Because just as Gansau, for example, Gansau is, and you can go from Tansau, you can go from Jansau. You go all the way down here, and you're actually at Guatsau. So, which one of those terms seemed to say Gansau? It didn't. So, what does Gansau mean? The motion. That is the motion. In the Hama Bracer Stance example, it's not that Hama is its own freaking stance. It has everything to do with the energy of the stance and how it's used. Now, a lot of times the back leg braces the most because guess what? I forgot the term. I'll come back to it. I'll paste it in that video. But there's even a front bracing stance in Wing Chun. Front bracing. Because they realize there's a point. Let's say... Let's say I get to this point of Gansau, right? And I can get to the point of here, here, and I start pushing. Do you know by the time you push with Pope Pie, you're bracing from the front now. Bow and arrow, your bow and arrow. Don't just don't even don't. I'm a, I'm a. He mentions bow and arrow, and I know when when when, Ray, when most of the weight is on this right here, that's bow and arrow. 
It is, but because of Wing Chun and because of how they work stances back in the day, because he's asking about bow and arrow, we don't want to, we don't use that term a lot because a lot of people know that term that if they use it with their Wing Chun, now they're putting too much into it. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, there's going to be a different... If, if, if I push you off, I end up pushing you off, and I'm like this. Somehow you catch yourself, and you're attacking back at me. It's hard to get out of this damn stance. You know, just to pop back up. Yeah, we can do it. And all that, but it's time. time. Yeah. You know, this, right. This is the time. So look, like you were about to do earlier, like you kicked. Now, right? So one thing I have to do now, kick again. I have to change the stance. That's the reason why I said moving stance you always. Gotta, you to do it. You yes. To you I have to get to a better point. You have to take all your guns off, though. But you see what I'm getting at? So Wing Chun has helped you. It said, forget these longer stances. Forget this long ass horse stance. Let's go with something where everybody can be able to move. Everybody can achieve the goal of defending themselves. That's what Abbas Wumay did for us. Thank you, Abbas Wumay, because I will talk her up to the damn end. Economy of motion. Economy of motion. That's why, and I and I even talked to this to Brandon. Brennan in Vienna, his school. I talked to him on, on, on Instagram. And I said this. I said, people are going to talk mess about me once I put the poll form on video. Because that's a plan. I need to put all the rest of the, rest of the Wing Chun forms and everything on video, period. That is my plan. That is my next goal. That is my goal for this year. But... If I, I don't do the pole stance like we've always did the pole stance, even in more yard or any other wind chunk for that matter. I do not do this and with this long ass stance because I realized the trap and the problem with doing wind chun and then trying to go back to them long stances after you have you have meditated, you put time in, you put energy into these short stances, and now you're about to go long again? Well, you know, I mean, I do think, not to not to cut you off, but I do think with the poll, I think that was kind of like a later edition because that was one for one of the Hung Guard guys. You know, they put the poll in. In fact, that's why I kind of use more of the long stances. In that case, but at the same time, and I know what you're saying, Lung Yi Ta. Mm -hmm. Lung Yi Ta is the one we credit with the pole. to bringing back the pole in. It came from Chi Sim. Chi Sim was a cook on their, on their red boat. He sees Lung Yi Ta, and Lung Yi Ta is working that dang pole to stress how either left or right or whatever that boat needs to go. To help him out, she Sim gives them pole form. That's how we got it. That's how we got it. Wong Wai Bo and Lungi Tai makes a switch. Now, Lungi Tai was already Wing Chun. Wong Wai Bo was already Wing Chun. They came from Lung Lei Kwa, who was the student of Lung Bok Chow, the husband Lung of Yin Wing Chun. So, with the pole, with that pole, that's a Shaolin pole. That's how we got all that Shaolin deep stances. It's a Shaolin pole technique. The Shaolin basics. However, like I said before, people are going to get mad when I put the pole form up and they see me doing Wing Chun short stance. And would I be wrong for that? Maybe by tradition. But if tradition reminds me we're not doing deep stances with Gonsa or anything else for that matter with our empty hand forms. Why not unify the skill? That's my little theory. That's my little hypothesis on it. And I've been living with it ever since. <laughs> I don't do battle punches. 
I mean, I, I, I think Jing, 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 Jing Choi. Yeah, going doing those things. Yeah, I don't, I don't have people do that. Yeah, they say that's a pre fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I just don't do that. I'm sorry. There's a lot of traditions that need to be broken, and there's a lot of traditions that need to be kept whole. And what's our goal in Wing Chun? We are to either modify or fix the systems according to traditions and conditions. So that's just me. Yeah, people are going to get mad. <laughs> anyway, so now that I said that about the bracing, now let's talk about how the inside and outside bracing makes sense. <laughs>